I'm gonna start running ads for the agency. I'm probably gonna dump around one to two K in some ads just to give it a little test, I guess. Guys, I am working on some pretty exciting shit right now for the agency, for the business, and I wanna break down exactly what's on my thoughts. So guys, I kinda wanna go back to the whole times of me just jumping on camera, documenting the journey, sharing my thoughts with you, and kind of walking you through like what I'm planning on doing next, and what I'm doing right now, and where I'm at, and stuff like that with the business. So guys, what I wanna do in this video is break down exactly what I'm working on, what I'm gonna be doing next with the agency, where I'm at right now, and stuff like that, so you guys can get a feel as to, you know, I'm just another regular dude, don't ever think I'm one of these fucking quote unquote like guru dudes. I'm literally just a guy who started. In fact, take a look at like my first ever video on YouTube. In fact, don't do that. It's so fucking embarrassing. The whole reason why I started this whole YouTube channel was to just kind of like document the journey of me trying to build some form of business and try getting into entrepreneurship. Kind of, I guess, teach you guys that there's definitely a different way than just going down traditional, you know, nine to five uh, fucking route, which everybody seems to be doing. But anyway, guys, look, right now I'm working on some pretty, pretty amazing like fucking next level shit. I'm trying to take the agency to the next level. So currently we're actually sitting around 4.4K per month. Now I actually have two clients on hold, but I'm not even too worried about that right now, guys. So I have two clients on hold right now. So I'll break down a couple of my clients. So guys, client number uno is paying me $1,260 for social media management. I then have a real estate client that's paying me 1,000 per month. He's actually on hold right now. He actually paid me the money then we kind of just paused because we want to make sure that if we're gonna run his ads and stuff like that, we wanna make sure that this whole career the virus is not affected in which obviously makes sense and I think it's the right thing to do as well I was willing to put down pause because I'm not out here just trying to you know take clients money and just run with it I actually want to provide an excellent service for my actual clients and you know my agency I want to grow my brand and reputation as being a legit actual agency that just doesn't fucking run off with people's money so that's client number two paying me 1,000 pounds which is around 1.2 1,250 dollars or something like that if you work it out on like Google or whatever you do to, tra to translate or convert it should I say so guys client number three which is a client I actually closed yesterday but we don't start until this Sunday it is now Friday that I'm filming this so I've got you know two days Saturday or Sunday and we start up and running for them this is another social media management client again this came through Upwork all of my clients actually came through Upwork except for the real estate client that actually came through my case study I'm gonna be talking a lot about case studies in a second as I go forth then I have another client paying me just $250 for managing just their Instagram account again I just outsource this to my outsourcer the reason why I took this client on guys and again it was through Upwork is to build my Upwork profile so guys whenever you see me like close a lower ticket client like $300 client $400 client or something like that just know that it's because I'm probably building out my Upwork account again I'm still relatively new to Upwork but it's been working like a charm so what I've noticed guys is that if I think more long term with my Upwork profile I think that that's actually going to serve me in the future meaning you know take on a few little clients here but build up the amount of you know money earned through Upwork on my profile because that's actual a statistic on your actual profile that actually is going to help you in the future so that's what I'm doing right now building out my Upwork profile as much as I possibly can so that's why I took on that client there and I also have another client paying me $720 again for social media management all I'm managing is his Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn as well he has like a B2C type business and he also has a B2B type of business as well and we thought with B2B it's better off if you use LinkedIn and grow like a presence on LinkedIn so most of my clients are actually through social media management and not actually Facebook guides which I actually don't mind I feel like like social media management is something that you guys if you're at the beginning as well in your journey I feel like you guys definitely should be offering uh, social media management and also throwing Facebook ads if you know how to use Facebook ads or if you have an outsourcer more importantly if you know how to have an outsourcer if you look back at my channel I believe that you know you should outsource from the very very beginning to be honest with you guys because it stops you from worrying about you know oh I don't know how to run Facebook ads and all that sort of shit and then it makes you more confident as well but guys that's where I'm at right now with the actual agency not only that but I was just speaking to a guy yesterday and I 
I 90% have this closed. It's only a $375 per month client, but these dudes are an agency themselves, as in their web design agency. Normally, by the way, guys, whenever I have like a student in the actual four, four week course where I teach them how to use Upwork and stuff like that, I teach them not to work with agencies, other agencies, but this dude is not just an agency, he's actually a web design agency and he doesn't know anything or much in regards to social media marketing and marketing agency, you know, Facebook ads and stuff like that. So what I want to do is be like kind of his outsourcer where he will close clients himself and then he can pass them to me. It's kind of like a mutual beneficial relationship as well. So what we're doing right now is actually going to run some of his as on one of their accounts, his own personal kind of account for his business and whatnot. And if I knock it out of the park, what we're going to be doing is taking over like most of his clients and he already has like 15 web design clients right now that he manages on a month to month basis that need social media management. So it's kind of like just a bucket of like, he's just got like a bucket of clients that he's probably going to refer to me if I do a good job for him this particular month. We're just talking to him yesterday. So yesterday I actually closed a client for a thousand a month. We start Sunday. Yesterday as well, I had another discovery call. By the way, these all came through like Upwork and stuff. I had a, a discovery call with another dude. He's actually out in Malta, which is pretty cool, I guess. He's the web design agency. Like I said, he has 15 clients right now. From what he's told me, he has 15 clients right now and he needs social media management for most of his clients to be fair. So I reckon this could be a potential, you know, three, four K deal or something like that. If I knock it out the park this month for him. So the agency could be looking at almost like 7K in the next couple of months, to be honest with you. 7K per month in the next couple of months. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high. I don't really kind of like believe in the whole jinxing thing. What I wanna do is just kind of never hype up my numbers, kind of just keep it mellow. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, cool. And the reason why I say it's cool, if it doesn't happen is because I use Upwork now. And like Upwork, honestly guys, is no lie, hand on my heart. Swear to like God, if you guys believe in God, if you know, if I'm lying, God, strike me down right now. But I feel like Upwork is the easiest and best way to go out there and get clients because they just already have that buyer's intent, basically. They already over the two hurdles that I mentioned all the time on my channel. If you don't know, I'm talking about go back and watch some of my other videos on my channel. So guys, what am I working on right now? So here's what I'm working on right now, guys. First of all, in my personal life, I'm on a mobile phone detox, as in I've stopped using my mobile phone, moved all communication. Well, to be fair with you, all my communications are already on Slack and stuff like that. So whenever clients need to message me or get something done, they message me on Slack. But right now, guys, I am on a phone detox. I'm not using my phone for more than like 45 minutes per day. And I've been really, really killing it. If anything, I'll throw a screenshot up on the screen. And guys, I also have just taken on a new video editor. So if this video is kind of rough or whatnot, it's just because we are literally yesterday hired a, and again, this is Friday when I'm recording this, Friday the 1st of May actually. So I actually just hired on a new video editor. Shout out to you, of course, my video editor. Yes, if my videos look a little bit rough here around the edges, I guess, it's just because we're just obviously going back and forth. It's a new person that's editing my videos. I no longer have the time to edit my videos. I want to make a system for this. The reason why, guys, is because if you take a look at my channel, my videos, I do drop quite a couple of videos here and there but I've noticed that I'm not really consistent with it you know some weeks I might drop one video some weeks I might drop three videos the other weeks I might not drop any videos and that's just because I don't have a system in place for this and I've noticed guys that like whenever I look at an area in my life and I'm inconsistent I ask myself well do you have a system for it and most of the times when I'm inconsistent like 99.9% .9 of the times when I'm inconsistent with something in my life or in business I've noticed it's because I don't have a system for it whereas like for example like my Upwork stuff I know that at night 9 a.m. There is no distractions. There's no mobile phone. There's no nothing. I'm not allowed on any other websites. Physically cannot even get onto any other websites because I block them. And I have just Upwork open and I finish my Upwork outreach and just do 10 of those each and every day. Well, actually, it's now going up to 12 of those. I can't do 12. But you know what I mean, guys? I'm going up to 12 now on Upwork as in I'm sending out 12 proposals each and every day. So yes, I'm paying for connects each and every day. But yes, it is extremely ROI positive. It's kind of like running ads for my agency, which I'm going to get into next, guys. Guys, I'm doing that and like I said I, you know I've got a system for the whole Upwork thing and that is because I need to be consistent with it so I actually genuinely make it something easy to complete so I know that every day I'll just be able to complete it anyway even if it takes me 30 minutes even if it takes me 45 minutes typically it takes me around 50 minutes to 60 minutes or something like that to complete all of my outreach on Upwork and that's generating me more clients than I've ever had in my life previously so guys that's where I'm currently at with the business I've hired on a new video editor I've taken on detox challenge if you will where I'm not using my for much. I'm also guys
guys going to be getting into running some ads for my actual agency now that I have a system where I'm consistently turning out discovery calls and stuff like that I, I know that I now can go and get clients almost at will these days I wouldn't say it's like 100% guaranteed that I'm gonna go and get clients but I feel like this system I can rely on it so if you take away all my money and stuff like that I would just be on Upwork just killing it on Upwork and that is a real real strategy I know that works for me I also know guys because the, one of the first times I ever built a case study funnel and stuff like that and I'll get into you know this in a second in more detail but guys the first time I ever built an actual like case study funnel for the real estate agent within the first like 72 hours of me actually launching that on LinkedIn I had a real estate go through it and I actually closed that same real estate agent for 750 pounds per month for Facebook ads as well again I had a whole video on that and I think that was back in August September times don't quote me on that but you can look back at my channel and go check that out but I literally had to close the client with that same funnel within the first 72 hours or something like that of actually having launched it so I launched it within the first I think it was like 16 or 12 hours or something like that somebody had booked actual discovery call with me and then we had a discovery call I didn't close them there and then on the call which I should have because they kind of want to speak to their partner he genuinely had a partner or whatnot I jumped back on the phone with him and I actually closed him like a couple of days after that and that's how I know that my funnels actually do convert because that was all organic traffic now guys here comes to the most exciting part of the actual video guys look I'm actually thinking about running ads for my agency right now I'm genuinely just going to look at it like this let me backtrack a little second I've been reading a couple of books so I'm actually oh yeah I forgot to mention I'm on a book a week right now guys so I actually started reading a book a week last week I've already completed the first book within like the first five days and the first book I read was sell like crazy by Sabri Subi again I recommended this book in one of my other videos but I highly 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 recommend that book like it's ridiculous guys it teaches you all this sort of shit like building funnels how to get clients and stuff like that if you're into SMA or digital marketing or starting some sort of agency I highly recommend you get that book Sabri if you're watching this absolute beast you are a freaking amazing guy I can't believe you actually put all that shit in your book for free I'm not affiliated by the way guys so this is actually like a genuine like review or whatnot whatever you want to call it but anyway guys he's kind of inspired me to go out there and actually start testing some ads for my agency because he says if you cannot afford to pay to get a new customer in your business you don't actually have a business and he talks about how being able to take traffic actually take advertising and turn it into a paying customer is the most predictable and most profitable skill set you can actually learn on the entire planet and I actually agree with him because think about it, if you know you can spend ten dollars to get twenty dollars back for example you're going to just dump a bunch of money into that and just keep doubling your money so if you can kind of create this machine for your agency for example where you know if you put a dollar in you're gonna get two dollars back so you would just go and spend literally thousands of thousands of dollars on that each and every day because you know you're going to get a 2x return on investment like why would you not go to the bank and get like a fucking massive loan and just dump that into ads because you know you're going to get a 2x return on investment and just go pay the bank back so guys here's what i'm actually planning to do it sounds funny but i'm actually going to run google advertisements now i'm going to create a case study funnel as in i'm going to go and create like a whole like 20 minute video 25 minute video probably 30 minute video on how business owners need to start using advertising in their agency facebook ads all that sort of stuff google ads and whatnot all that sort of stuff and what I'm going to do is break down case studies now you're probably thinking okay if I want to replicate this Montel how do I do this if I don't have any results so guys let me break down this misconception with an agency I don't know what it is but when it comes to running an agency everybody thinks you need to be the bee's knees of running ads you need to be a complete expert of running ads you yourself are not supposed to be the dude running the ads you're supposed to be the dude that's focusing on marketing your business generating sales for your business because sales is the lifeline of your business again read the book called the e-myth read a book called sell like crazy in fact within the first 100 pages it will already change your mind on that now let me propose a question to you do you have to be a good chef in order to own a restaurant it's exactly the same with an actual agency you do not have to be good at facebook as yourself to run a successful agency you just hire the people who are good chefs essentially in your business and again it's like this scenario of being a restaurant owner but then being a waiter at your own restaurant why would you ever want to do that and again you shouldn't start up if you've not watched some of my other videos i think i drop some other videos on like Sunday or whatnot but take a look at my channel and you'll see that I believe you should outsource straight away I believe you should get an outsourcer immediately I believe you shouldn't even be the guy running the actual ads for your clients and I don't believe you should be providing the service yourself you just need to understand the service enough to sell it to an actual client and then you can put the right people in place to deliver the service again it's kind of like being the chef at your own restaurant why would you need to do that you don't actually need to do that and again guys in the e -myth, I believe it's the e book that actually says that you know if you're going to start a business because you're good at the actual service you 
you shouldn't actually start the business because you're going to start a business through the eyes of the practitioner which is i'm good at baking cookies so i'm going to start a cookie business and now you've just created yourself a basically another nine to five job where you're just baking cookies all day instead of working on the business you're working in the business essentially so guys here's what i'm planning on doing again i'll actually show you kind of probably after flip the camera around but i'll show you what i'm kind of mapping out right now really rough draft at the minute i'm not probably close i'm probably like a month out from actually doing this but i just wanted to give you guys a kind of like update as to what i'm doing i'm gonna start running ads for the agency i'm probably gonna dump around one to two k in some ads just to give it a little test i guess and i'm actually going to test probably facebook ads versus google ads firstly i want to try google ads the reason why i want to try google ads guys is because i've actually genuinely taken a look in fact let me actually show you guys take a look at this i'm not too sure if you see this but i literally just typed in you know digital marketing agencies in like sheffield and like these are some of the google ads that are actually you know popping up want to grow use lead gen to get results uh, that matter like that's not good copy at all if you take a look at sabri's book you'll see that like these you can easily out compete these by giving away like a free report so let me give you an example the aim here is to get a click of course and these guys basically talking about themselves there's no mention of how to do this if you take a look at like sabri's book he basically mentions like um let me just zoom in into it because this is this is whack right here guys you see these these are whack actual ads there's no good copywriting there's nothing curious about these there's no enticing copy here's what enticing copy would kind of entail so guys here's kind of what enticing copy would be or what you could actually include it could be get this shocking seven tip report on how to run ads and double your sales in the next 90 days guaranteed like that would be much better copy because it sounds like you're getting some sort of crazy report or you could even put in this crazy report reveals the top three money murdering mistakes all business owners make when it comes to running Facebook ads like that's much more enticing and the reason why I want to run Google ads guys is because there's more buyers intent as in people to see a Google ad you literally have to type in certain keywords it's kind of like the whole Upwork stuff they've actually gone out their way to type that in to actually find it whereas with like Facebook ad it's what you call an intrusion ad it's kind of like you're intruding on a person a person's on Facebook for example and they're scrolling they're scrolling then they see your ad it's more of a, uh, a destructive ad if you will it kind of takes them away from what they were kind of doing before and then interrupts them it's kind of like an interruption ad interrupts people and they see your ad and then they click on it whereas google ads people have higher intent as in i literally had to type in you know digital marketing agencies in sheffield which is my local area to actually see those ads obviously let's reverse engineer it if you're a client you're going to be searching certain keywords like that and you see an ad like that you're probably going to click on it because you actually have gone out your way to actually search that and now some dude's offering you some free case study or free report or seven shocking tips that no other digital marketing agency dare to share something like that sounds very very enticing so that's what i'm actually going to be doing i'm going to be doing a case study video i'm going to be finding a actual contractor with amazing results and i'm going to leverage his results again i don't believe in the whole i should be amazing at facebook ads and have the greatest case studies i can literally just find somebody hire them for the actual agency now that i've got more disposable income and actually have them at my agency and they already have you know great results so i know that they're going to do a good job and i can then just leverage his results in the actual case study and say that you know my team's been able to to generate x y and z results and that's completely legal completely ethical and it's actually what most businesses do if you take a look at them so guys that's what i'm going to be doing in my agency dumping in some more money reinvesting back into the business got a video editor doing the detox i'm on a book a week right now being super consistent with all my systems closing clients taking upwork to the next level taking my agency to the next level and trying to generate traffic through paid means now so guys i'm excited i'll let you guys know how this goes if you have any comments or anything like that just drop them below so with that being said hope you guys are doing well hope that i've sparked some ideas in your head and some kind of some ideas that you can guys can actually go out there and try but anyway guys look if you've enjoyed that please drop me a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace